When Elon Musk buys MSDNC and destroys it and calls it XTV or X News or what have you, when Rachel Maddow is forced to beat it, to leave, to lose this imaginary 50, no, 20, she was making 30, they say 30 million. Now it's like 25 million. She took a $5 million hit to work one day a week to write a book or something, maybe do some podcast or a documentary. That is 100% bullshit. Pardon my French. It's over. And he precipitated the demise and the collapse of these people. Because let me explain something to you. These people are evil. They're not just liberals. I don't care about liberals. There are people who've had an opinion that are not necessarily for Trump. Listen, there's some stuff that Trump's done, which I think is ridiculous. I think picking Matt Gates was out of his mind. What is he? Is he crazy? And Pete Heggs, it's not going to be a walk in the park, but I'm not worrying about this. I don't like um, Elise Stefanik or, or this, this, this absolute, I don't know what, I don't know what you want to call this this connection to Netanyahu. But you know what? Fine, that's his whole thing. But there is a collapse in this horrible, terrible system that limited our speech, limited the way we spoke, limited what we said, limited what we thought. It's, it's absolutely, it's beautiful. We're not being able to talk about things like vaccines and maybe 9-11 and maybe, who knows, some really good stuff, things that are called conspiracy theories but really aren't. Theories, hypotheses about how we as a society have been hurt and harmed drastically. And I welcome this. And it wouldn't be possible without President Trump. And when you see this lunatic, this crazy, this this insane woman, this this uh, Gaymala acting like this, saying these things, doing these things, my God, do you not recognize the fact, do you not see what is happening here? I mean, everything is changed. Mark this. It, and, and it's changed right now better than ever. And this is also going to see the end of DEI, the end of CRT, and the end of these faux wannabe, I guess, I, I, I guess they're called what? Celebrities that nobody cares about. Nobody. Nobody cares about them. Nobody needs them. Nobody... Nobody, I, 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 I cannot put into words, dear friend, the level of elation I am feeling. And it wouldn't be possible without President Trump, Elon Musk, and Joe Rogan. I know people don't understand this. It's not about policy. It's about a societal, social undergirding, a lattice work. The, this, this incredible group of folks that represent the, the, the basis of what we're talking about. Those people, the warp and woof, so to speak, the, the undergirding, the foundation of what's happening. This is the most incredible thing in the world. We even have right now, and, and wait till you see, wait until you see what happens with the uh, um, deportation. That is going to be, that is going to be, that is going to rekindle, reinvite, reignite the um, George Floyd, BLM, Antifa lunacy. They're going to go nuts. You want nuts. Let me just tell you what's happening now. And listen very, very carefully. This is something which is the most important thing to recognize. And I'm saying this to you now, dear friends. And listen like you've never listened before. We live in a world that has been under attack from so many areas, so many from 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 so many angles, societal, sexual, education, entertainment, so, name it, political, obviously. And Trump in this second tranche, this this second go, his second stab, has been able to do things and show things in a way 
that nobody ever, ever, ever thought was even remotely possible. Let me explain to you, my dear friends, and listen to me and listen carefully. I'm not a reactionary. I know this may come as a surprise to you. I'm not a conservative. I'm not a uh, any of those things. I do believe in certain things that some conservatives agree with, and I believe in some things that some liberals and progressives agree with. I understand this. But the first thing that's going to be the most important, the first thing, is when Elon Musk owns, owns MSDNC or something equivalent. Media and media platforms have been synonymous with the party. There are people I know who are not Republicans and they're not conservatives. They're Fox Newsers. Their world is Fox News. Their world is believing in Fox News. Their, their, their world is following him. This is where these people are. This is what we're talking about, my friends. So let me just tell you something. Sit back, sit tight, and understand how glorious it is that we have won. And the first thing you're going to see, the very first thing, I promise you, the first thing is when these people, listen to me carefully, when these people, people like Musk and others in Silicon Valley and other people you've never heard of, start buying huge media conglomerations that heretofore were exclusively that of lefties and progressives, that they were the 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 uh, the they were considered part and parcel of these folks. You understand what I'm saying? When this happens. The day that MSDNC is changed to X television, we will have won. Believe me when I say that. Now subscribe to this channel and comment as you see fit.